Our mission here is to support the warfighter. We have 3,500 customers approximately in the Northeast, from Wisconsin up to Bath, Maine. They have property access surplus government property. They need to turn it in. It's uh, ended life cycle for them. We receive about 300,000 lines a year, which turns to be about 1,400 a day. My main job here is to train customers the proper way of disposing government property. It's basically when a property is used or coded as unserviceable, that property will be turned into disposition services where we could reutilize that property to other military services or federal agencies as well, or as a last resort, turn that into a scrap contract. The range of items we receive here is anything from clothing, textiles, old ADP equipment, monitors, computers, generators, vehicles, MRAPs, Humvees, meaning if the EOD doesn't need it, they'll turn it in here. It is important just because it's also helped give the importance to the customers in general of saving government money. And it's not their property, it's the government property that it has to be disposed of based on DOD instructions. We inventory, we do the kind count conditions, see what kind of property it is, have it meets the turn in uh, qualities that we need. And then we'll either downgrade it if we don't need it or it reaches end of life or we'll go ahead and put it on inventory. And that allows other people, other DOD agencies to get it, federal agencies, LSEO, uh, Forestry Department. It's a 1033 program. Um, a lot of the police departments just call it the LESO program. And it provides law enforcement agencies with the opportunity to get a lot of equipment and supplies that they couldn't otherwise afford to purchase, which saves the taxpayers a lot of money. We use a LESO program for multiple things. We look for everything from Pelican cases that we can use to organize our vehicles, our criminal investigation vehicles, to tools where we can use for building maintenance or crime scenes, uh, weapons maintenance, and then uh, we also use uh, tool kits, uh, medical equipment, uh, anything. First and foremost, uh, the equipment uh, that we receive here helps us become a better law enforcement agency through organization of equipment and allows us to be better prepared to support the community and our operations uh, with the community. Cost-wise, it benefits the taxpayer. These items are already purchased and we are able to get these items at no cost, which is extremely important that we are maximizing the tax dollar for the community, but also for our agency, we are able to get these items and it makes us a more professional organization. The bottom line of our mission here is to receive the excess surplus government property. Okay, it's very important that stuff that is still reusable is put into inventory and offered to the other services and the DOD agencies. Our mission here saves a lot of money for the taxpayers, saves a lot of money for the federal government, and we're all proud of what we do here.